What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. Today, we're going to be talking about these swirling rumors about these golden tickets. Now, I'm going to tell you this again. I would prefer that you guys wait until EA Sports announces the confirmed golden tickets because it happens every year. People assume that things are going to happen, and then we start raging about it like, yo, this guy's a moron, and then we don't even get to kind of see that it's real yet. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, there's rumors swirling around that, you know, a Brandon IU golden ticket's going to be coming out. Um, you know, that's like, what is going on? Now, look, Brandon IU is a Niner, and I'm raging about it. And that's just to let you guys understand, like, I have a Niner theme team, right? And some of you guys that don't really understand my channel or haven't been around for a while don't seem to understand. I don't really care if the player plays for the Niners because it's going to be a golden ticket, so everything's going to be maxed out anyway. Plus, I have more than enough Niners, so it doesn't matter. I just want players that make sense in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, for, for me, oh, yeah, Brandon Ayuk, he played for the Niners. You would think, like, yo, Jemai, he'll grab him, whatever. Why? He's useless. Julio Jones as a sugar rush guy is better than Brandon Ayuk. Like, if he were to make a golden ticket, Julio Jones would still be a better card. So all that would happen is it would be one of those cheaper, low-end golden tickets. And I told you guys, that's going to happen. But we don't have to make it happen. You see what I'm saying? You know like how we already assume that people are complete idiots? We don't have to still deal with the fact that these guys are going to actually do that if we encourage people to understand. Like, look, I understand the whole, um, you know, the whole approach like, yo, a dude that was mad garbage, make him OP. You know, last year they did the tight end from the Steelers. He was 6'8", blah, blah, blah. Everything was good. You know, it worked out. At first, we thought he was garbage. And then I went back and I was like, yo, this dude's kind of good. And then we realized because Madden 20 was so bad, you were able to do a lot of different things with that card at the tight end position. Obviously, we would have liked more speed, but EA Sports controls the speed aspect of the card. My point about uh, all of this thing with the Brandon Ayuk that's, you know, allegedly leaked, yo, he's a golden ticket. Look at this card right here, right? This is any theme team. Julio Jones's numbers is pretty much, I guess you could go deep route running 99, but we all, we're all very, very aware that it doesn't matter, right? Like, it's going to be the same thing, like the thresholds, whatever. He's going to still run the route the same exact way. What are you really getting out of that? It's nothing that's really going on. So it's not about my team, um, you know, a theme team, a Niner theme team. It's about everybody wanting to get the card because MLB is about to drop. So I want to let you guys know something. EA Sports is very, very aware and smart. They are going to drop some really, really OP cards, which is why they had so much trash cards being dropped over the last couple weeks. They want to make sure that they gear up. They're going to put some stuff out where you're going to be like, yo, you know what? I want to play MLB, but I also want to see how that card plays in Madden. They do it every year. And this is the thing that we've talked about. The competition of a completely different sport gets them on edge and they have to put out good cards. So you guys are like, yo, what if 2K was able to make a football game as well? I have to just be very, very honest with you. I have friends that play NBA 2K competitively and they have to present themselves a certain way and, um, you know, make sure that they, you know, publicly they don't really go crazy about it, but the game sucks. And 2K, would they really be able to go back to that old 2K5? I don't know because the game has changed so much and animations and things like that have been real relevant in the game. And in my opinion, has destroyed gaming for a lot of people that love these games. So, when you think about what's about to happen, it's pretty much going to be a situation where they're going to put out cards that everybody wants, and then also, you know, obviously golden tickets will come out. You got to remember, draft day, all those things are going to be coming out. There's going to be different promos, you know, high overall cards of the guys that are coming out of college. It's so much stuff happening all at the same time in April. But the one thing that everybody lives and dies with until Madden 22 or the next Madden is released is what golden tickets are released because nothing really matters if it's a golden ticket people are gonna want it but if the golden ticket is trash it'll just be a lower level selling 99 that people will just buy for training it's always one that eagles corner from last year somebody made a golden ticket i forgot what the guy's name was he sucked he was terrible but that was an eagles fan that wanted that card so I can't really knock an Eagle fan. Well, actually, I can. You know what I'm saying? You're an Eagle fan. But that's besides the point. The bottom line is, if it's a card that you actually want, I'm going to tell you directly. It doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what any YouTuber says, whatever. Make your card. But if you don't really care about the fact that you're a fan of a team and you want to make a card that everybody's going to be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? That card is dope. Like the Taylor Mays from last year. The golden ticket Taylor Mays. This is what's funny about EA Sports. Although the maxed out Taylor Mays 
that wasn't a golden ticket last year in Madden 20 was very similar to the golden ticket. The golden ticket had certain amplifications in the card that made it play completely different from the basic Taylor Mace card. Let me explain it to you again. Say for instance, right? Somebody makes a golden ticket Vernon Davis. Look, we're just gonna go hypothetical here, right? Let me tell you how EA is slick. Regardless of what these attributes do, it's not gonna be much more that's gonna be added to the card itself, but the golden ticket itself will get a secret boost where it'll just do real wild ridiculous stuff. Because if we're honest about it, even if you give Vernon Davis 90 run block, right? We know he's gonna run past the block. Like, if people don't like to hear the truth, and when they do want to hear the truth, they come to see me. Even if I gave this guy 90 run block, he would block the same way as this card. It wouldn't really matter. But in certain cases, if you made a golden ticket Vernon Davis and you maxed out certain attributes, he would get different types of boosts that would just be random. It wouldn't make sense, but it would, it would be something that would happen in the game. And I figured that out myself because I still kept the Taylor Mays maxed out because he had the same numbers. And then I compared them to the golden ticket version. It's gonna be the same game. Now look, remember, next gen is now available obviously with PS5, Xbox X's, so it's a different format on those systems. But that doesn't change the fact that the golden tickets have different type of, you know, they have a different type of boost within them. You know, so they're gonna do, you know, give or take, you know, more exciting stuff. It doesn't seem to really matter though that the attributes are not gonna really change as much. Because for instance, right, I already told you, Somebody's gonna make a golden ticket Vic and they're gonna release an ultimate legends Vic. They're gonna release another Vic, right? They're gonna be very very similar But you're gonna see people with the golden ticket Vic and the reason primarily is because of the ability slots So he'll get like a strong arm slot. He'll get a, a field general slot That's typically while the golden tickets are really good, but you know, obviously you save on the AP, but just hear me out though They're gonna get little different boosts that make them it's just gonna be different from their predecessor. If the card, in fact, gets a maxed out version, Jadavion Clowney won't meet that criteria because he won't get a separate card that's also a 99. You know what I'm saying? Like, he won't get it. It's sort of like this, right? Some of the cards that are out, like say for instance, right? Say, say Braylon Edwards. I really wanna say, no, actually, last year they had a golden ticket Julio Jones, and I just showed you Julio. Say somebody is like a Falcon fan and they feel sorry for him that he'll never get a ring because he's with the Atlanta Falcons and the team had their chance and the Patriots came back 28 to three. I, I, bro, I don't know why I just said all that. Don't worry about it. I've had to bring up some memories. But listen, right? Say for instance, they make a golden ticket Julio Jones. We can compare the gold 99 the same way I compared Taylor Mays to his golden ticket. There wouldn't be on the surface that major of a difference, but certain things would change and you would notice in certain games that he would be a little bit more explosive. It's a very, very, like it's a weird and subtle thing that EA does, but we are, we are all smart enough to know that when we look at the attributes, a lot of times they don't react the way that they're supposed to unless you have an ability on them. So that's something that I would like for you guys to keep in mind. Now, let's go back to Brandon Ayu, all right? Earlier in the year when I was, I was running tight offset, I was, what was that? that, was that in the Rams playbook? I think I was running the Rams playbook earlier, right? Brandon Ayuk was a dog, like straight up, just straight dog. I'm gonna go right now. We're gonna go look and take a, you know, take a look inside the auction house um, and see about his cards that are available because I don't believe that they gave him a power up, right? So if the rumors are true that somebody's making an Ayuk, right? It could just be a guy that's a, it could be, it probably be uh, Brandon Ayuk. It could probably be him because I don't really see anybody else I would want, you know, this card, right? Like seriously. It probably is him, and he pulled the golden ticket. Otherwise, why you you know what are you doing now? Let's take a look at what was going on, right? So, with the Niner theme team, he was a 96 speed. He would be a 96 speed right now. Looking at it, I don't know if you got another card after this, but we're just looking at this card for now. He was playing like a demon earlier in the year. Now, if you go golden ticket, Brandon Ayuk, right? Let's say you give him 99 deep route run, 99 medium route, 99 short route run. He's still, six, he's still six feet, 205 pounds. So in the game itself, we're starting to learn a little bit more that, you know, the bigger receivers like Julio is a good blocker, Calvin Johnson's a good blocker. The bigger guys, they really get stuff done. What would be the purpose of this card? Now, depending on how you utilize, you know, the cards that you create, he would probably be a guy that you would have different slots on. Maybe you give him Playmaker, whatever, but I think Playmaker is six across the board, so you're not really saving. Um, and even though he would have different slots as far as you know abilities, it wouldn't really matter. 
He's a six foot player. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are so many other undersized players. Marvin Harrison, you got different guys that are gonna do the same exact thing. Will he jump up, you know, an aggressive catch somebody for six? I don't know. DK Metcalf, he probably will. We saw him without ability in a competitive Madden game where money was on the line. We saw a guy moss another guy with DK Metcalf without abilities. Is there a chance that Brandon Ayuk would ever have gotten that animation? I would say no, because the height is a thing. And, you know, DK is a physical receiver in the game. 6'3", heavy, big body. They just, EA just made it be random and he got it. My point is, even if you were gonna play this guy without abilities and just have him as a golden ticket, you're not getting benefits that in the clutch when you just do something random, which we all do, because we don't care, and we know the game just doesn't make sense, we'll just throw it up. What is the benefits? There's really no benefits. And he's a niner. Yeah, I could I could throw him in and see what happens. Dude, I don't want him. I, just, I don't want him. It, does, it doesn't make any sense to have him. Now, when you go back to what I've been trying to tell you guys and you look at certain cards, like, you know what's very, very interesting? That, that most recent Jimmy Graham card. That's a very, very good example. And I also got some uh, content that I'm working on for you to guys to, uh, you know, give you guys the insight into it uh, with Jimmy Graham. When you look at Jimmy Graham's card, right? and you try to assess and understand what EA was doing. EA understands that this is a six, seven, uh, you know, pretty much he's a receiver at tight end. They understand that, which is why they gave him a lower level speed. And you can see his run block is very low. He's not a niner, right? This would be a great golden ticket because if you give him the right speed, the right run block, you can do whatever you want with them. Set him on post corners, drags, whatever you want. He will play, but play big. And it'll be an opportunity that if EA decides to make him jump, he's going to get an animation where he's bigger than everybody else. Again, not a niner, but he would be a good card. And he's one of, you know, this card right here is trash. He went from the 50 program to getting a flashback. This was a horrible uh, decision by whoever, you know, whoever did it. But they did it because they didn't want to give him more speed at his height because it becomes dangerous. And then they don't really know what's going to happen with the interactions. And he might actually catch the ball. And that scares the developers. So this is something that would be a great golden ticket for everyone. Because now you've got somebody that you can send out in, you know, at the natural tight end position in doubles or trips or whatever you want. And he's flying and he's also 6'7". This is a good look, right? There are other cards just like that. I told you guys, it, it doesn't really matter what team they're on. You could start naming them like Charles Woods and stuff like that. He already has good numbers. I heard somebody say they wanted a, go a, a golden ticket Charles Woodson. I can't get mad at that. When I had the Raiders theme team, it was whatever. But I don't have a Raiders theme team anymore. But this card, when it was first released, was pretty good. Right now, there's not even any of his other card out. But this card was really, really good. Let's take a look at his numbers. 61202. You know, that's kind of light. I want a heavier guy. Maybe, like I said, I don't want to say it. Richard Sherman. You go, oh, he's a Niner G. My bro. Richard Sherman is a 6'3 monster, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to create players with height, certain weight, certain attributes. That's what you have to do. But again, I don't really think it matters as much because they have so many other cards that are going to be getting released because of MLB. Mark my words. I said the same thing to you guys last year. Yo, Jima, you sure? EA started dropping everything. They started dropping every card that everybody wanted because they can't lose even though somebody else is doing stuff. So you guys can evaluate it however you would like, but I'm just making sure you guys understand. If you yourself have pulled a golden ticket, just try to create something that's gonna make it where it's like, yo, that card is OP. Because remember, when golden tickets first came out, that's what made the program special. The card was just OP as F for randomness. Like it was like, what the? And that's what it was about. I think we've gone away from that and we need to get back to that. That's my insight into it. Hopefully this helps someone for you guys to understand, but don't panic because you're still gonna get gold 99s of cards that have to get released still. And those cards would also still have golden tickets like the Vic and all those cards. They'll get gold 99s and they won't be anything different other than the fact that you save on ability points because they'll have different slots within the same card. So although they have one archetype, they will have different archetypes within that same card. And that's the only difference between the golden ticket and the gold 99s that you're gonna eventually get. I wanna thank everybody for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. We do have some more vids coming out for you later. Be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.